welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms you're welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today in this video part 7 we are going to talk about vocabulary used by Shashi Tharoor now Shashi Tharoor is one of the most eminent and prominent politicians of the country he's known for his well-researched thought provocative speeches and his writings are well famous in many books so we are going to learn five of his most important words which he normally uses in his conversations so let us see what are these five words for the day apocryphal now what do you mean by apocryphal being of questionable authenticity so if you see something and you don't believe you feel that it is not authentic that is called apocryphal for example even though people know the apocryphal account of shipwreck is false they still tell the tale over and over again the second word for the day is acquiesce agree or express agreement so if you believe in something that is right you give your agreement and that is called acquiesce for example the administration decided to acquiesce and let the students have a dance the third word for the day is eclectic selecting what seems best for various styles or ideas so let's suppose uh, you have an occasion where you want to dress to match the occasion so you need to select different uh, out of different styles the best style which will suit that occasion that is called being eclectic the restaurants menu was eclectic and included food from number of ethnic groups and cultures the fourth word for the day is syllab a slender graceful young woman so a woman who is slim slender very graceful is called a slip when he produced a new brochure, he proudly placed portraits of his wife and himself side by side with his dancing syllabus. Syllabus is something which is very uh, sophisticated, graceful looking. It can be in any form. Pudgy. Now, the meaning of this word is short and plump. So you must have seen uh, uh, various types of uh, architects or various types of uh, animals or human beings as well who are short and we, who are heavy I mean they have more weight so that is called pudgy her pudgy face was very pale and her eyes looked as bad as Ginny's felt now these are the five words which you can not only learn as a part of vocabulary but also understand how these words are pronounced correctly so the more words you know the better command over language you get so it's the confidence which gets increased every time you learn a new word and bring it as part of your vocabulary so if you like this video you can press the like button you can subscribe to my channel and you can also share this video on social media please help us to spread education in this beautiful world thank you have a great day bye bye